six countries in Southeast Asia that move on to offer this support to. Last year, investment in Vietnamese startups tripled from 2017 to $890 million. According to Startup Accelerator Program, Topica Founder Institute. The first made in Vietnam high tech electric motorbike was introduced in and on Sunday by the Fuji International Trade Yostock Company and Power Centric Company. The Sydney uses the Mopo Smart Lithium battery technology, which is currently popular worldwide. The Mopo is a very light battery which operates without emissions or noise and has protected the environment. Mr. Pham Tunang, Fuji's general director, said. Most electric motorbikes use lead batteries, a weight up to 35 kilos, but our battery is only 6 kilos. The lead and exit battery discovered into the environment is quite large and not perfect, but our lithium battery does not use heavy metals or acid, so it is an environmentally friendly product. The Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, VNAT, has warned domestic travel companies of regional instability and security concerns in Egypt. In a statement issued on Monday, the VNAT said it has received notice of a series of terror bombings at famous attractions in Egypt. In order to ensure the safety of Vietnamese tourists traveling abroad, the VNAT instructed travel companies to reconsider organizing tours to Egypt for the time being. Travel companies are also asked to provide the names, contact information, and travel itinerary of Vietnamese tourists currently in Egypt to the Vietnamese Embassy as a precautionary measure. Earlier, the VMAT warned Vietnamese travelers against bringing pork products along when traveling to Taiwan, China. In the wake of African swine fever, tourists carrying pork products will be subjected to a fine of up to $6,500. If they fail to pay the fine, the entry to Taiwan China will be denied. And now some more news. China and Ethiopia have grounded for Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft following the Ethiopian Airlines crash on Sunday that killed all. On Monday, China's Civil Aviation Administration ordered its domestic airlines to suspend the commercial operation of the jets. It said the operation of the model will only resume after undertaking measures to ensure flight safety. The Aviation Authority has contacted the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and Boeing for consultation. Over the apparent similarity of two accidents of Ethiopian Airlines and Indonesia's Lion Air, which both involved newly delivered Boeing 737 Max 8 planes and happened during the takeoff phase. According to Ethiopian Airlines the same day, although it is not yet known what caused the crash, the airline decided to ground its remaining four 737 Max 8 planes until further notice as an extra safety precaution. Also on Monday, Boeing said it will postpone the ceremonial debut of its 777X white body aircraft planned for this Wednesday and send a technical team to the crash site to provide assistance to the investigation. China and the U.S. have agreed on many key issues regarding exchange rates in their latest round of street talks. Chinese central bank governor Yi Kang said on Sunday that to discuss monetary policy, specifically mutual adherence to a market decided exchange rate, not using exchange rates for competition and maintaining close communication on foreign exchange markets. They agreed they should disclose data in accordance with the statistics transparency standard of the International Monetary Fund, according to Mr. Yi. Republic of Korea President Moon Jae-in on Sunday vowed to promote cultural and people-to-people -people exchanges and expand vertical cooperation with ASEAN. President Moon tweeted the promise before departing for Brunei on the first leg of a tour and also includes visas to Malaysia and Cambodia. Mr. Moon said he hopes the Republic of Korea will cooperate more with ASEAN in energy, infrastructure, technology and defense. The Republic of Korea 
delightful career because of his growth potential, such resources, and growing romantic influence. And now recap all the headlines. Vietnam and the Philippines clash to boost cooperation in key areas. Top U.S. firms seek business opportunities in Vietnam, and China and Ethiopia round the Boeing 737 MAX 8 after Sunday's crash in Ethiopia. And that's the news from Voice of Vietnam. Here comes the current affairs. Coffee has always played an important role in the Central Highlands socio-economic development. During the 7th Bunmatwood Coffee Festival in Dabak Province, seminars, promotions, and coffee showcases are being held to explore ways to ensure sustainable growth for Vietnam's coffee sector.